take 31. Action. Hi, Urban Prepper. This is Tony, and I'm here to enter your video, your contest with my video response of my five items that I would have in a urban environment that are TSA compliant. Now, first I need to tell you that I live in an urban environment with over four million people, and this is what I carry on a daily basis. You might recognize some of it. My Maxpedition bag with goodies, my purse, a whole lot of uh, extra little gadgets. And so it was, it was hard to come down with five. I've been thinking about this for two weeks. But these are the five that I would use, and let me tell you why. First item we have is my water container wrapped with 550 cordage. Of course, there's no liquid in it, so it could get through TSA regulations. And it also has a solar cap, so you'd always have light with you, which is handy. Second item you would have is the Wazoo Survival Bracelet. This isn't just a regular 550 cord survival bracelet. Wazoo builds things into their bracelets. This one has a whistle built in, it has a fire steel, and this is a striker. Some of their bracelets have fishing kits inside. They have several different things, but I went with this one, the basic one, because it is TSA compliant. Now, as I was getting ready to pick out a whistle, I looked at my little urban survival kit, and I thought, well, hey, I could use my titanium whistle that I carry with me. But no, I wanted something that would have multiple uses. And then while I was in my little sur urban survival kit, I thought, well, what about a medic medi kit, a little medi kit to carry? But I do work in a hospital in the world's largest medical center. If something should go wrong, the gauze and the medicine will be flying. So I felt I didn't need to include that in this kit. The next item I have is my flashlight. And I really, really like flashlights. So much so that I, I just buy a lot of flashlights. The one I picked was the Phoenix LD20 for two reasons. First reason, it's an excellent flashlight. Second reason, I might need it for protection. Since this is TSA compliant, I would use it first to possibly stun an assailant. And then I would use the tactical edge to protect myself if need be. So that's why I went with the Phoenix LD20. Now, when I was looking at lights, I also thought maybe I should use the glow sticks that you can reuse. And these glow sticks are fabulous. They get lit up with any kind of light and then they'll glow for eight to ten hours and it's just a wonderful product but again I wanted something for protection so that's why I went with the LD20. Next we have the Morphe Power Pack. Now I thought this was important because as you know you've helped me download, you and other people have helped me download a lot of survival information on my phone. I need to make sure that my phone is always working in an urban environment this Morphe can be downloaded, it can be charged fully 500 times, it is 2.1 amps, and I wanted to make sure that I always had access to my phone. So that's why I included the Morphe Power Pack. And last, I am picking cash. I carry this every day on my ankle. I too am a Dave Ramsey follower, so I believe in cash. And in an urban environment, if something happens, you will need cash if your credit cards or debit cards are not working. So those are my five items. Now, I did have one bone to pick with you, I do believe, and that bone would be, I know everything needs to be TSA compliant, but I love, love, love carrying my knife every single day because in a hospital, I can't carry it down, but I can't have a knife on me. So, Urban Prepper, this makes me very, very angry. Grrr! But... In all honesty, I must tell you, I love your channel. I've watched you from the beginning. You've helped me spend a whole lot of money. Yes. <laughs> and I thank you very much for all the knowledge that you share with all of us. Bye.